someone's loss is someone's gain. And that's exactly what happened here. Someone changed their plan, and we got lucky to have a family trip into the forest range of Maharashtra to the place called Taroba. We started our trip from Hyderabad by flight to Nagpur, which is also called the Tiger Capital of India, and then by taxi to Taroba. Taroba, one near Vilas Resort and Spa. And this village gate was used in World War II. The whole place is spread over 65 acres, I believe. We have some beautiful lounge chairs here. 305 will sit in it. We are saying that's the cottage where Shakir is staying. Here we are. This is the room. Full of excitement and hope, we left for our first safari, hoping to see the tiger. And soon we saw a number of jeeps lined up and our hopes went up. We were told that a tiger just went through these bushes from the morning safari and was there. time, a really long time, went past it twice but nothing came out. We just decided to leave and see something else or find something new in the jungle. We saw some spotted deer and the Indian gore, a really massive animal. It was beautiful. And later we just went past the lake which was really beautiful and I think there was no chance to see a tiger on this safari. Maybe the next one, there's always hope. The next day was an early morning start once again and we left our resort for the safari at 5 a.m. We were watching an Indian girl and suddenly this happened.
Who wants to stay here? Grab a weapon in the box. First, um, he's on. Look, I'm putting Richie's plan. I'm going to fall. Fuck off. I'll tell you. I'm deep. Where's the ball? I'll be there. Come with the little spear. Who was going to hit him? Watching the Cubs play around was so wonderful. They didn't have a bother in life. Just like children, they were just playing around. And all the time, the mother watched. They were not bothered about the number of jeeps and the people around. They were just having a great time. And all of a sudden, almost after about 45 minutes of giving us great pleasure, the mother decided to leave. not a single sound and she just walked away. And the cubs just followed. We had a nice filling breakfast which the resort had packed and on our way back to the resort the only thing that we could you know keep talking about was the beautiful tigers that we saw we were happy that we had a fantastic sighting and the cherry on the cake was of course the cubs playing around and that was so close to us full of excitement we were just going back to the resort and we happened to you know 
find another jeep looking at something. We went close by and saw that there were some wild dogs, which are pretty rare to see. But then after the tigers, who cares? I'm getting on first. Back at the resort, we had some time um, before lunch where we tried out the double seated cycle, if that's what it's called. And then while Shakir, Pawan and me left for the evening safari, which they didn't have tickets to, I mean the ladies, they spent some time looking around the property and also exploring new places, some lake close by and also playing some games. Our evening safari started at Shrikada Gate, which is a little away from the resort. It was a beautiful place full of water bodies, many lakes and naturally very beautiful. But the guide had already warned us that this being a buffer zone, there are not uh, many sightings of the tiger. So we spent almost two and a half, three hours just roaming around with, in the forest without seeing a single animal. And after such a long time, what we found was a rabbit. Someone had spotted a tiger. There it was, just walking away. Could get a few shots. One more tiger scene. <laughs> it's good. And there he gave it a good chase to him, come and have a look. But we you could just see it for two minutes. It was getting dark. We had to get back to the gate, but then we suddenly spotted the same tiger once again. Careful, careful. Yeah. 
so. Beautiful. What a dramatic end to a fantastic holiday.